time, pal. We're cutting through. We're almost through the door. Get ready. Here they come. Just the place, my friend. There are heavy weapons by the
It's about time. Been waiting for your call. They caused a hell of a mess in Moscow. Was it worth it? Adler managed to get the list of sleeper agent names, despite himself. He's got balls, I'll give him that. Bell did well. Seemingly. But I think that team is getting too comfortable. They're acting like they know who they're dealing with. Perhaps. Turns out, one of those sleeper agents is tied to Operation Greenlight. Theodore Hastings. He's a nuclear engineer based out of Salt Lake City. And you believe Hastings is the one he'll activate? Exactly. Total surveillance is already underway. It's only a matter of time before he leads us straight to Perseus. This is it. The recent movements of Theodore Hastings has led us here. Cuba. Right in our backyard. A vacant government facility in the Cuban countryside has become a hub of activity for Perseus, and the likely location of the stolen nuke. No doubt Castro allowed it. Twenty bucks to anyone who can bring him down before me. Who? Castro or Perseus? Whoever. We are not gonna let him move this nuke inside the States. It's time to take down Perseus, once and for all. Team, wrap up any unfinished business. Once we strike, there's no turning back. Woods, don't get any bright ideas over there. Yeah, you've got my sure as shit. So. I need a few minutes of your time to discuss it. Do available? In private. You ready? Let's talk. You look ready. Yeah. Check this out. Hold on. Make it quick. I'm busy. Negative. Even at this size, Perseus could catch our scent on the wind and try to relocate. In this scenario, less is more. It's as good as it's gonna get. The intelligence community has spent years trying to track Perseus to a concrete location. This guy lives between the lines of recorded history. Nothing would put a bigger smile on my face than you personally putting him down. Plan A is Agent Azalea. We didn't pick Lazar for his charisma. He's an expert in bomb defusal. If it's live and he can't disarm it, you're still gonna get that nuke out of there. Bring a change of pants. Indeed it did. Our insider delivered in a big way. As for you, the baseline expectation around here is to surpass every expectation. So from the bottom of my ass, welcome to the team. I'm not in the business of discussing my personal views on team members to subordinates. Anything else? The projector's in the back corner if you need to go over any details from the briefing. I'm back. Look alive. It's Adler's protege. Well. Yeah, well, you just snuck into the KGB with Adler, hacked their database, and got out in one piece. And I'll be going in with my boy here. If I were Perseus, I'd be running for the hills. And I'd be calling in a mortar strike on that hill. Yeah, for Adler, it's a culmination of three decades of meticulous tracking. You'll probably be extra pissy on this mission. I advise you to stay focused and drop the nostalgia. Look, you better buck up, buddy. Adler's gonna want you more committed than a grenade without its pin. No, we were after a different spy in Quezon. <laughs> That's right. Our team was right next to Adler's when we touched down in Way City. That's also the first time I had the misfortune of meeting Hudson. <laughs> in all those years, nothing's changed. He still has the personality of a wet fucking blanket. <laughs> you hear that? We're fucking legends. Yeah, wherever we go, we bring the thunder. Man, get the fuck out of here with that shit. 
You seem pretty unimpressed over in Fake Town, USA. Or are you talking about Mason right now? As I live and breathe. You got a point in saying that? You sound concerned too. If you're trying to be friendly, this is the dumbest way to go about it. We're just fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> you should be concerned. Are you fucking serious right now? Don't get them started. Nah, 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 nah. Hold on, let me set the record straight. Here we go. <laughs> so yeah, Castro and I have some history between us. I had the opportunity to off the man, but our intel was flubbed. That's in a tidal wave of shit all the way up to DC. So if I find out that Perseus is in cahoots with Castro, and Hudson happens to find one of my bullets in Fidel's head, well, I say chalk it up to collateral damage. Huh. Kept it under five minutes. I was expecting a diatribe. Yep. Later, Bell. <laughs>